we're asked to use Euler's formula to find the two roots or two complex solutions of z squared equals 2i. Euler's formula expresses a complex number in the form of x plus yi in exponential form, which is the form r times e raised to the power of i theta, where r is the modulus or distance the point x comma y is from the origin. This is the same r in polar form. And the angle theta is the angle in standard form or standard position whose terminal side contains the point x comma y. Because we're looking for the two roots or two complex solutions, we need to find two Euler forms of exponential forms of the complex number 2i using two consecutive coterminal angles. And for this example, we will use the least positive coterminal angles. In general, to find n roots, we provide n Euler forms or exponential forms of the number using n consecutive coterminal angles. So for the next step, we want to plot 2i on the complex coordinate plane. And since 2i is equal to 0 plus 2i, it's graphed as the point 0 comma 2, shown here in blue. Because the point is on the vertical axis, we can quickly see it is two units from the origin, which is why r is equal to 2. But of course, we can always use the formula r equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, which also gives us r equals 2. And now let's find the least positive angle where the initial side is along the positive horizontal axis and the terminal side passes through the point 0 comma 2, which we can quickly see is equal to 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians or 1 half pi radians, which we'll use for our first angle theta. And then to find the next positive coterminal angle, we add 2 pi radians to 1 half pi radians, which gives us 5 halves pi radians. So now we have the information we need to write two exponential forms for 2i by substituting r equals 2 and theta equals 1 half pi radians, as well as theta equals 5 halves pi radians in the exponential form r times e raised to the power of i theta, which is shown here. For the next step, to find the two square roots or two complex solutions to the given equation, we need to find the square root or 1 half power of these two exponential forms or Euler forms for 2i. And let's show this on the next slide. We will call the two roots or two solutions, z sub one and z sub two, where we have raised both exponential forms for 2i to the one half power. Simplifying, we raise two to the one half power, which gives us the square root of two. And then for e, raised to the power of one half pi i, we multiply the exponent by one half, which gives us e raised to the power of one fourth pi i. Because the angle theta is a nice angle, meaning a multiple of 30 degrees or 45 degrees, we write the exponential form back in polar form, which is this form here, where r is equal to the square root of two, and theta is equal to 1 fourth pi radians. And now to evaluate this by hand, we need to find the exact trig function values for cosine 1 fourth pi and sine 1 fourth pi, which we can do using the unit circle or reference triangles. Using the unit circle, remember x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. And here we have the angle pi over four radians or one fourth pi radians. Notice both sine and cosine of one fourth pi radians is equal to square root two divided by two. And we can also find these trig function values using the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle. And the last step is to distribute square root two Remember, square root two times square root two is equal to two. Two divided by two is equal to one. This product simplifies to one plus i, which is the first root or first complex solution. And then for the second root, when multiplying the exponent on e by one half, we get e raised to the power of five fourths pi i. Converting to polar form, we now need to find the cosine and sine function values for five fourths pi radians which we can see here are both equal to negative square root two divided by two. So distributing square root two, notice now we get negative one minus i. And now we have our two roots or two complex solutions, which are one plus i and negative one minus i. And notice how for these complex numbers, both x and y are real, which means we could have also evaluated this on our graphing calculator. So let's also show this. Notice how on the graphing calculator, we can enter the exponential form of the two roots 
to get the two roots in the form of x plus yi. I hope you found this helpful.